Hey there, it is Crystal Lopez from crystalincome.com. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. I wanna bring you along as I share with you my new method that has been working for almost about three months with my laundry. Let me just tell you, my entire adulthood, I've struggled with laundry. And when my mom came to visit back in August, so I guess two months, um, she really helped me nail down a method that is working and it is working beautifully. I'm almost scared to post this because I don't wanna jinx myself, but it is working wonderfully. I'm gonna handle about three loads of laundry in this video. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you the method that I'm using for our large family. We have five kids that are still at home, ranging in age from 16 down to six. And then we have four adult grown children as well that don't live at home. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you what our laundry methods look like now and how we are, how we're staying on top of it. I have never been so pleased with our laundry method. All right, ready, set, go. All right, so this whole video is me folding, hanging the laundry, but I'm going to tell you while I'm doing all of this, what our method is that is working for laundry. I can tell you that in my entire adulthood, I have never been able to stay on top of the laundry until now. And there are a few key things that have been instrumental in making this work. So number one, clothes do not go to the laundry room until it is your laundry day, until laundry is being done. Part of the issue is when we start stacking all the dirty clothes into the laundry room, they go there to die <laughs> pretty much. I mean, seriously. Now, listen, you may have the perfect laundry routine that works for you and your family. Fantastic. It may be different than mine. You may be thinking, how have you gone through your entire adulthood and never mastered laundry? Honey, we're all good at certain things. There, I can make money. I can cook a great meal. I am really good at a lot of things. Laundry is not it, okay? What I'm gonna share with you is not something that is going to work for everybody, but it works for my large family. And if this has always been your struggle, give this a try. So number one, I learned that sending things into the laundry room was part of the problem. You send things in there and it's like out of sight, out of mind until, oh my goodness, we need underwear or, oh my goodness, we haven't done laundry. You know, you try to do a load of laundry every single day you wash, you dry, and then it goes onto the couch. And then it's out of sight, out of mind, and it doesn't get hung or folded because you're busy and you're working and you're doing all the things. I work from home, I homeschool my kids. We are a very busy household, okay? So number one, when they go into the laundry room, they go there to die. Number two, when they get put on the couch to get hung up or folded up, it never happens until, oh my goodness, all hands on deck, everybody get in here. We have to get this hung and folded because we have no socks and underwear and we can't find anything to wear. That's a problem. It can't get to that point, right? Okay, so those were two big issues. Number three, when everybody's laundry was being done together, nobody could find their socks, nobody could find their underwear. It was a huge fight, like seriously. Every day somebody was saying, I can't find my socks, I have no socks. So-and-so has my socks on. So-and-so, you know, I can't, where's my underwear? All my stuff is getting mixed in with everybody. Okay, so then we would have this huge day where we would all sit down and fold and hang up laundry, but we never changed our habit. And so the result never changed. The end result never changed. So we had to keep the laundry out of the laundry room. We had to separate everybody's stuff so that things weren't getting mixed up. And um, so what we did was, first of all, one of my teenagers has done his own laundry for over a year now. And not only did my mom's ideas help me get on board with all of this, but seeing how, okay, his stuff is staying with him. It's staying in his room with him. He's responsible for it. Okay. And that was his idea because he was really sick of not having his socks and not being able to find underwear or his shirt or whatever. Right? So the wheels started turning for me. I'm like, okay, I get the significance of laundry staying in the with the appropriate person, then your things aren't getting mixed up. And I'm, I'm working from home, so I'm in the middle of a break in between work meetings, so I'm responding to a work message. You're gonna see me hop on my phone a couple times, okay? So keeping it in their room, kept it out of the laundry room, but also when it was done, he was doing his own laundry, wash dry, and then he took it to his room and he handled it. And doing that also, sorry, I have a kid that came in the room and messed around with this, so just bear with me for a second. Um, 
also that kept it off of the couch where everything just kind of goes to die again, <laughs> right? So each person now has their has a laundry basket in their room, okay? That one teenager does his own laundry. The other two teenagers, they have baskets in their rooms. Those baskets do not come into the laundry room until they are gonna do, until their laundry is gonna be done, okay? Now, you can say, I am not this extreme, but you can be to the extreme of child A, your laundry day is Sunday, child B, your laundry day is Monday, on and on. That is too much pressure for me, all right? The laundry is gonna get done, but I don't do it by day. But when it's your day for your laundry to be done, so those other two teenagers bring their laundry down, we start the washer and dryer. They're not 100% comfortable starting the washer and dryer on their own. They're gonna get there. At any rate, they're doing all the rest of it. They get the laundry in, they get the laundry moved to the dryer, and then their basket goes back to their room. They are responsible for folding and hanging it, okay? Now their socks are not being mixed in with anyone else's socks. Their underwear are not being mixed in with anybody else. Nobody else is wearing their shirt. If you can't find something that's on you, what did you do with it, okay? I had to put the accountability back on them, right? And I had to stop sending the laundry to places to just sit and die out of sight, out of mind, right? So if they they have a dresser and they have a closet, they can hang what they want. I used to be really strict. It became too much like legalistic stuff, right? It's on them. If they are wearing a wrinkly shirt tomorrow because they didn't put that stuff up, that's on them. <clears throat> they are old enough to be accountable for that, okay? But I will tell you, they get their stuff put in their drawers or hung up, whatever they're gonna do, because they don't wanna have wrinkled up stuff, right? They know within 12 hours of it sitting there, it's gonna be all wrinkly, okay? Then, so that knocks out the teenagers. Then for my husband, myself, and the two younger kids. So our younger kids are, the teenagers are 16. I have twins that are 16 and 13. We've identified how their stuff is handled. For the eight and six year old plus myself and my husband, here is how, it's the same thing, just modified a little bit, okay? So we have one laundry basket. Really we have two laundry baskets because some of my husband's clothes need to be washed. Um, like I don't want some of that washed in with our stuff um, just because of the things that get on his clothes for the what he does. Um, anyway, his profession, shall we say. So the two little kids and my laundry and then the rest of my husband's laundry, there is a basket in my closet, okay? For the most part, the little kids shower and bathe in our bathroom because it's just more convenient at nighttime with our nighttime routine. They use our shower or they take a bath in our bathroom. So when their laundry clothes come off, it is their responsibility to pick that laundry up and put it in the basket in my closet, okay? They do have a basket in their room too. Sometimes they take it to their basket, but honestly, we have found that since all of the four of our clothes get washed together, just put it in the basket in the, in the closet. It makes it easier, okay? All right, so then that laundry basket does not go downstairs until it's time for it to go in the washer. Because remember, when it goes into the laundry room, it goes there to die. It gets washed, it gets dried, it immediately comes upstairs. And so this is a day where I am doing that laundry. In between my work schedule, I have got, you know, our, I had about two baskets worth of stuff in our closet that needed to be done in two loads. Plus I had some of my Norwex stuff that gets washed separately that needed to be done. So that was three loads of laundry. Um, but I also don't sort, the only things that get sorted out are reds and whites um, and really, really dirty things. Like if you've been paintballing or if my husband's been crawling through an attic or something, that stuff is not gonna get washed with the rest of it. The red and the white and the pink don't get washed with everything else because I don't want them to, the colors to fade and whatnot. Um, but everything else gets washed together. So those, and then the Norwex is washed separately, but these other towels washed in with our stuff. Underwear shirts washed together. If anybody has a complaint about it, they're gonna have to just do it themselves, right? I do not have time to sort everything out and I don't need to sort everything out. So after Jack and Luke Henry's stuff gets folded or put in a stack to hang up, it goes in the basket. They have to take that basket to their room and put that stuff up. They know where it goes. That's on them. They have to get it done, okay? Then whatever's gonna hang, I'm gonna hang that with the hangers while I'm here. You notice I'm doing this in my room. I cannot, I'm not gonna go to bed with clothes on my bed. I am not, this is not out of sight, out of mind. I am in here, I use this room every single day. My, actually my desk and my workspace is set up in here. 
while I am folding our clothes, mine and my husband's clothes, you noticed his dresser is right behind where I was standing. As I'm folding his stuff, I can put it right into his dresser. If he's home, he'll help me with this stuff too. It's not like this is just Crystal's job, okay? But he's doing things right now. I've, I'm doing my part, he's doing his part. My dresser is on the other side of this camera, so I can put my things away very quickly as well. All of that is our stuff that's hanging. I'm gonna hang it, boom, it's gonna go straight into our closet. So now, clothes aren't sitting in the laundry room, clothes aren't sitting on the couch waiting to be put away, it's in my face, it has to be done, clothes aren't getting mixed up with teenager stuff and little kid stuff, it's all, like everybody, the clothes that are gonna all be folded and put away together and the clothes that you know are collected together are staying together. So we're not losing socks, we're not losing underwear, we're not losing random crazy things. Where's that shirt? I haven't seen it in three months. Everything is all together, okay? All right, guys, I hope that this helps you. Seriously, give it a try, let me know if it works, and we would love to see you in the next video. All right, bye. guys, and share your laundry tips below. And Jack says bye. Bye.